Although petroleum is not nuclear energy, it too has come under great pressure through U.S.-sponsored resolutions and sanctions to follow the main objective of serving a blow to Iran. But the Iranian will prevails again as the country's petrochemical industry is doing more than well. We have expanded our petrochemical industry's production to 24.5 million tons in the year 2008, which equals eight and a half billion dollars. These will reach 14.5 billion dollars by the end of the next year. This great accomplishment did not come about on its own, as the petrochemical industry of Iran has worked hard to keep a lucrative market for international companies. Now, yeah, the, the sanctions, of course, uh, make it very difficult indeed for, for companies to work uh, in, uh, in Iran, for companies like us as well. Uh, and it's also not getting easier uh, over the last uh, couple of years. And of course, we absolutely we need to work inside the legal frameworks in all the countries of the world. Lyondale Basel is one of the, the biggest petrochemical companies in the world uh, nowadays. Uh, present in, uh, in Iran for a long time already via our technology business. The sanctions are in place and are applying pressure. But the Iranian will is stronger. The Iranian petrochemical industry has made tremendous strides in, in just the last several years in terms of adding very significant capacity, but I would add capacity that the globe needs uh, with the uh, emerging economies needing more and more petrochemicals. This very need is what undermines the sanctions right from the start. From a business perspective, I, I think you would expect to see when markets need product that, that sanctions don't get in the way. With $8.3 billion worth of just exports, the sanctions indeed have not gotten in the way. The Iranian petrochemical industry has grown so far as to actually have a leverage over the other sectors of the petroleum cycle. Kohen Karimi, Press TV, Tehran.